If you want one, you have a couple of options. You can get a cheap one that will smoke off after half an hour. You can get an angle grinder attachment that's a bit more expensive than the crappy ones, but all made from plastic and not very heavy duty. Or you can get a proper one that is so unbelievably expensive of a pedicure machine, your better half's gonna kill you. But if you enjoy making stuff, you can of course make one yourself. Okay, I made a quick drawing of what that thing is probably gonna look like. And the first part I wanna make is this clamp that goes around the neck of the grinder. Now I wanted to make this clamp out of a piece of mild steel that's about 10 millimeters thick but I could only get my hands on this piece that's about 5 millimeters thick so what I think I'm gonna do is actually make two of these parts and then weld them together. I think it's a good idea to mark the centers and the corners right now because these paper templates are probably not gonna survive the next step. Even though this is mild steel, a bit of lubricant can hurt. <laughs> okay, and now I should be able to reconstruct these lines. Further shaping, I'm just gonna tack the pieces together. And this template will hopefully stay on there until the piece is finished. Now what I'm gonna do to keep these pieces together is to grind a groove right at the joint line and then fill this groove with a bead. Now I'm gonna drill and tap a hole for a bolt that's gonna close the clamp around the neck of the grinder. Finally, I'm gonna make a cut right through there to make this an actual clamp. Okay, that's the part I just made after a little bit of polishing. And let's see if this will actually fit the grinder. Yes, there's virtually no way that this would ever come loose. And now I have to weld this bracket to these pieces of thin walled steel pipe. And there's absolutely no doubt that I'm gonna burn through there immediately. Okay, this time I'm gonna weld on a solid steel spacer first and then another piece of tubing. Thank you. 
Before I install this new piece of tubing, I'm going to create a slot for a captive pin that keeps that entire assembly from just shooting out. I'm just going to take it because this is pretty delicate. Well, not so delicate after all. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I decided to put the pin on top instead of out to the side because this a little bit slimmer profile could be beneficial when it comes to getting into really tight corners. Now the next part to make is this pulley assembly. And for the pulley I'm gonna use a roller skate bearing. Probably not the best choice, but that's all I have on hand. And now I'm going to weld it onto a piece of steel shafting material. I had a better idea than using a 2mm drill for an axle. Instead I'm gonna weld on these ears and use an 8mm drill shank. And now I'm gonna sacrifice this cheap little twist drill for an axle. I like to use one of my good chisels for opening oil cans from time to time, because the oil does a great job of protecting the chisel from rust. That little skateboard bearing is gonna crap out sooner or later, and then the whole thing is gonna spin around the axle. So I might as well harden it. Well, I'd say 65 degrees cheesecake. I have no idea if this is any harder than before. Probably not, but whatever.
Okay, this doesn't even meet my shoppy hop tolerances. Way too off center. But I'm just gonna weld in a plug and then redrill it. What I thought would be the hardest part about this build is finding a nut that fits that weird imperial thread of this grinder. But then I found out that this is actually M14. The male tries to impress the female by gently grinding her arbor nut. And I'm just gonna epoxy this in place. The red line marks where the peak of the crown should be. So let's see if this will do any good. Ha! Yes, it works! Awesome! And finally I added this pad to support the belt. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.